In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the engineer filter on your 2010 to 2013 Mitsubishi Outlander. It's a very easy process, only takes about 2 minutes, so let's go ahead and get started. Open the driver's side door. Now right where the driver's left foot would go over there, that's where the primary hood release lever is. So pull it. Now in front of the vehicle, right on top of the Mitsubishi emblem over there, that's where the secondary hood release lever is. So put one finger in there and push it left, like that, and the hood can now be opened up. Now this hood requires a prop rod to stay in place. That's where the prop rod is. So get the rod out of its place. See that hole in the hood over there? That's where the rod goes. So put the rod in there, let it go, and now the hood is secured in place. Now once the hood is open, the big black housing over there, that's where the engineer filter is. In order to get the filter out, first you need to undo the two clips over there. That's one, and that's two. Now the left side of the housing has got quite a bit of flex to it, so we can move it, right? and now just move that out of the way and then you should be able to easily slide the filter out just like that now let's take a closer look at the filter itself this is the unfiltered side this is where all the outside air comes in from and the door gets trapped the right side this is the filtered side as you can see it's clean so the way it works is the filter is in there the air comes in from there it gets filtered right side is the filtered side it all goes in the engine so get the new replacement engineer filter position it the way I'm showing it in the video over here. All you have to make sure is that the filter is seating well and it's pressing against the right side of the housing because that's what seals it and keeps it in place mainly. You have to spend a few seconds and that's okay. Don't worry about the left side of the housing, the one that's moving. Just make sure it's fitting and sitting well against the right side of the housing. Once that is good, now we'll just slide the left side back on and the only thing we have to be careful about is that the edge over there, see the small notch, see how it's sliding in. We just have to make sure it slides in the way it's doing in the video over here. Right? And once it does, you can put the two clips back on. That's one over there. And the second one over there. And see, now the filter is in place. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. And that is pretty much it. In order to close the hood, push the hood up. Get some stress off the prop rod. Get the rod out of the hole put it in its place like that now once that that is secured lower the hood and slam it shut 